Hey Tech here, today we are taking a look at technical analysis for Ethereum. I'll cover web analysis with the latest theory and provide multiple scenarios surprise my take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on 30 minute time frame and looking at the structures uh, starting from around the 2k highs. Uh, and this was again on 14th of August. Since then we've had this uh, structure coming down as a fireway structure uh, into a possible wave A then looking at this as the wave B in three-way structure. Uh, again, multiple ways to place the three-way structure in here, whichever you want um, and fits is fine. As it has already happened, we don't need to be discussing this too much, in my opinion at least. So let's focus today more on this structure over here. What are the possibilities here? So the overall expectation here is that we have an A, B, C coming down. If we are zooming out a bit, we can see some targets here. Time target would be around 20th of September at earliest, and also the 0.618 here, which would be around $1,411, taking out basically the current lows of that A wave uh, for this C wave as the minimum. However, uh, looking at these structures currently, uh, I don't think this is going to be any kind of that target, and we would be coming down quite a lot further. So let's, let's jump into 15 minute and taking a look at both of the options that we have discussed yesterday. So one of the options was that we had this as a one, two, three, four, five, ending a wave one in here, then some kind of three way structure into wave two. Now we did not hit the 0.5 here um, or the golden pocket at all for the wave two. So it makes it a bit less likely in that scenario. However, if a market is very, uh, trendy in that time already, then this is still a very much of a possibility. Now, we did not hit either this uh, wave one low here, so we can't invalidate any of the ideas, unfortunately. So we still got these two that we were talking about yesterday. So the idea here is that we were looking for a third wave to happen. And this is very possible that this here was a one, two, three, four, five as a lower time frame structure here um, or lower degree structure in this case a sub micro count um, and we would be looking for this pullback now as we already have this as a three-way structure oh sorry five-way structure we do have that divergence here and we did have this as a one two three four five it looks pretty nice uh, definitely long opportunities here for scalpers um, but yeah that is one scenario expecting wave two to create a three-way structure. However, if we are taking out, um, of course the whole invalidation would be up here, but if we are taking out the highs basically of RSI here, then we need to be considering that, is this a way to at all, or is this something else? And for that scenario, we have this scenario as that something else, in which again, we have this as a one, two, three, and this structure here was that way four, and this would be that wave five. So again, the differentiation between these two is that we have this as a one, two, one, two, or we have this as a one, two, three, four, five. Now, it is not anywhere perfect. Um, this wave four is right around the 0.5 retracement of that third wave, which is making it um, suspicious. But again, it is not invalid. Therefore, we need to be taking it into account. In here, again, we would have this as a fireway structure into these lows, uh, getting kind of close to the one-to-one -one extension of this first leg for that last leg, but did not. Um, it is also possible that this would have been extending quite a bit further, but this definitely feels to me that we have completed this structure in here and created the divergence that we would be looking for um, here overall. We do have that divergence between the third and third of fifth, oh sorry, third of third and the third of fifth and the uh, third of fifth and the fifth of fifth. So we can see that double divergence there, uh, giving us the very much go ahead long setup. Now, again, what would be the confirmation uh, for this count is again, taking out these highs, because again, we had that as the wave two here. Uh, so we can't have a fireway structure here that is taking out the start of it here and that would confirm confirm the other option. However, if we are not taking out these highs, then we might need to be looking into these, both, both the scenarios 
after some kind of this pullback, whatever it's going to be, uh, downwards and keeping both of these options alive. But those are the uh, two options I have at the moment. Um, again, short setups for sure coming. Um, long setups, definitely active at the moment. Um, but that is just the thoughts I have on Ethereum at this very moment. If you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes. Links to my free, dis free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.